older two girls have decided they want to be peacocks for Halloween. So we have matching dark blue leggings and shirts. We have feathered boas, tons of tulle. I'm gonna do no so tutus. We have these to do headbands and I'm gonna like glue feathers and little rhinestone things to them. These are gonna be for making wrist pieces. Got my glue gun and hopefully enough glue sticks to make this all work. So this is just a little beginning clip of all, we're, all that we're gonna start with and then I'll document as I do it and we'll share the final products when we're done. Hi. First thing I'm gonna do is their headbands. So the pack of feathers that I had from Porter was these and it came with two little sets of these. So I'm gonna be gluing them like right about here. And then I will be putting these little rhinestone pieces, gems right above this area. Okay, so both headbands are done. They have been glued on. Like I said, I just took both and glued them on to the elastic already bought this way sequenced headband. And then added the, the rhinestones on there. It took like five minutes to do both of them. So super, super easy. Not hard to do at all. So we're about to do the measurements for the girl's waist for the no so tutus. It's just a simple, stretchy, elastic. And I will actually have the girls holding the camera for each of their measurements. So video disclaimer, if you don't actually catch all of what I'm trying to do, I apologize. Now. Okay. Scarlet's going to be my holder. Okay, don't move it from where you have it. Pretty good. So we're just doing it right around the waist. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be sewing this together after I cut it. So I want it to be snug enough that it won't slip, but I also want it to be comfortable enough where, you know, when she sits, it's not uncomfortable. So I'm going to cut it right about here. And I'm going to keep in mind that I'm leaving about an inch overlap, and that's where I'm going to sew by hand around that area. And then I will be able to start no sewing all the tool on. <laughs> Thank you, Scarlett. Yeah. yeah, let's turn for measurement. Okay, we're going to do your measurements. They're right here. Are you pushing your belly out? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, don't push it out because you want your thing to sit comfortably. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Sienna. Sienna, say hi. <laughs> so, right now, I'm just showing how we're doing the no sew part. For this, I'm using just little spools of tool that I bought at Porter's, our local craft store. And then I'm going to just show you, I have Scarlett holding my camera for me. Yeah, my so you away. do the length that you need, that you're going to want it to be, but then you kind of double that. So we're going to double fold this over. You cut it off. And then we're going to go ahead and cut right along here. Once you have you that, go. you keep it in a U, and you just put it over the face of your elastic that you have here. So see how it makes a U shape? And we're gonna tuck it through the back and through our U, and pull. And then you kind of just tighten it up so it scrunches back together neatly. And I kind of over tighten it a little bit so I know it's on there pretty snug and then I just loosen it so it's not folded over. And then you have your strand in piece. So right now I'm doing the green first. I have it long in the back and I'm going to do it shorter in the front since we are doing a, a peacock look. See so these ones are shorter here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to add our, our other colors on.
part I'm doing is I'm using a boa. It actually is an extremely long boa. I cut it in half, so I have one half for one girl and one half the other. Then I cut that in half, so basically a quarter of a feather boa. And I'm just looping it through here and just basically doing a simple tie-on. Um, I may go back with some glue gun just to kind of solidify that it stays on, but for now I'm just ooh, tying it on just to make sure that it looks okay. This will be part of the back where I did all the longer tool. And I'm going to add a black and purple as well. Okay, we're doing our last little one. This one is a smaller boa, and so it's just going to be kind of little top feathers that I'm just going to twist or not onto the top half. Like so just kind of tying it on there. So, so far this is what it looks like in the back bustle, and I'm going to add one more on this side here. Just kind of finding spaces in between the tool. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see with all the feathers going on. And grabbing the other one once I tuck it through and pulling. And the back of bustle is ready. And then the front look like this. I'm going to fill this in more so it doesn't have all the white gaps across the top. But here's what it looks like so far. Tutu number two for Scarlett. I'm actually working on the next step. What I had bought was like these stretchy little headbands that you use kind of like for infants and little girls. Uh, again, from our local Porter store. And I cut them in half. So here's one half undone. I did it inside out and then just ran it through the sewing machine super fast. That way when turned back the right way, you have it like this. And then the next step that I will be working on after I get these all cut in half and sewn for their wrist, I will add some feathers. And then these pieces are gonna be for the girl's wrist as an added little accessory for their peacock costume. All right, so the wrist base, the main pieces are done. They just still need now the decorative feathers. I did get stuck on the second one a little bit. Um, I think just because of the kind of fabric and trying to get it through the sewing machine, it got caught a couple times down in here. But we survived and we made it and they're done. Okay, on to the last little step. All right, so I've done a couple already. Um, as you see, I actually added tulle in there as well as the feathers. I didn't glue gun the tulle on though. I actually um, tied it on. I'm just cutting strips about this wide and then finding little spots to loop it through and then just tying it between like little holes. And then once I've done that, I did about maybe two blues, two blocks, I think two greens each. And then I find little places to glue the feathers on. They're in dark blue legging and pants for the under pieces. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys like them? Yeah. How do you feel about being a peacock for Halloween? Thumbs up good? If yeah. you like the comments, put thumbs up. If you like the costumes, put thumbs up. That's what Sienna's saying. All right. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.